This mass for James Brigio. We gather as always in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Friends, we prepare ourselves to celebrate these holy mysteries. Let us call to mind our sinfulness and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness as we celebrate these holy mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard in Jezreel, next to the place of Abba, king of Samaria. Abba said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden, since it is close by, next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, the Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. Abba went home disturbed and angry at the answer Naboth, the Jezreelite, had made to him. I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down on his bed, he turned away from food and would not eat. His wife, Jezebel, came to him and said to him, Why are you so angry that you will not eat? He answered her, Because I spoke to Naboth, the Jezreelite, and, he, and said to him, Sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife, Jezebel, said to him, a fine ruler over Israel, you are indeed. Get up, eat, and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Navis from Jezreelite for you. So she wrote letters in Abba's name, and having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who lived in the same city of Naba. This was what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naba at the heads of the people. Next, get two scrolls to face him and accuse him of having cursed God the king. Then take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and the nobles who dwelt in the city, 
did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing through letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scrollers came in and confronted him with the accusation. Naboth cursed God and king, and then they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent the information to Jezebel and Nabas to had been that he had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned that Nabas had been stoned to death, she said to Abba, "Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Nabas and Jezreelite that he refused to sell you, because Nabas is not alive but dead." On hearing that Nabas was dead. Abba started off on his way down to the vineyard of Nabas, the Jezreelite, to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go. The responsorial psalm is, Lord, listen to my groaning. Lord, listen to my groaning. Hearken to my words, O Lord. Attend to my sighing. Heed my call for help my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning. At dawn, I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, listen to my groaning. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lord, listen to my groaning. Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow the gospel of the Lord. You know, oftentimes people say, Father, I have no gifts, and I believe that's not true. Every single human person has received some gifts from God. Jesus says generosity is one of the spiritual gifts that God has given to his people. Sometimes we tend to bury this gift. The gifts are not given to us to be buried, to be hidden. They are given to be used for the greater glory of God. 
to build God's kingdom. We are called to be generous. Generosity is not only about money. It is about using our time and talent as well for the greater glory of God. I'm sure you know your gifts. You know your talents. You know how much free time you have. The big question is, how have you been using them to build God's kingdom? Mother Teresa once said, love until it hurts. Forgive until it hurts. Give until it hurts. This is the extra mile Jesus is talking about here in this gospel. Friends, let us offer our prayers to God the Father. For our church, may the Lord increase her in faith and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. For individuals in positions of authority, may the Holy Spirit guide them in how they use their power and inspire them in protecting the lives of those most vulnerable. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who struggle with addiction, may Christ the physician be with them in their struggles and bring them hope and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, may the grace of word and sacrament deepen our faith and our trust in God. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, marked with the sign of faith. May they come to share in the baptismal promise of new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers we offer this morning and grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, 
For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Friends, let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go in peace. <laughs>